Hello. For today's demonstration, we'll be looking at how to set up, analyze, and get live CFD results of an F1 in Schools model car using ANSYS Discovery in Explore mode. Let's get started. Here, we have our CAD model loaded. We will notice that in the bottom left-hand corner of our screen, we have a view selector, and in the center of our screen, we have a heads-up display. If at any point in time, you need to reference what a button does, you can either navigate to the top right-hand corner of the screen and click the question mark. This activates the Help menu. The Help menu can also be displayed with the F1 key on your keyboard and contains information on currently available tools in the heads-up display, as well as tutorials on how to use these tools. Finally, there is also a Global Help menu. This menu can be closed by either clicking the red X or hitting the escape key. Once you are finished in the design tab, you can navigate to the far right-hand tab labeled simulation. To begin our simulation, we need to create an enclosure around our model. By navigating to the quick start section of the simulation ribbon, you will see the external flow option. By selecting external flow, a fluid volume is automatically created around your model, and this will be our domain of study. From the heads-up display, you will select an inlet direction, as well as the grounding plane, to set up the boundaries of the fluid volume. You must now set up the physics that you would like to study. To change these options, you can either use the heads-up display, select individual walls of the domain, or use the feature tree. Here I want to change the working fluid from liquid water to gaseous air, and I will want it to have a velocity of 30 miles per hour. Once you have applied your chosen physics, you will want to add in variables of interest. Monitor points can be used to track these variables of interest. To set these up, you will navigate to the heads-up display and choose monitors and then select the variable from the drop-down menu. Here, I want to investigate the force of drag experienced by the car. I will select Force, then hide the enclosure, and select the car. Finally, I will select the Y direction. You can see that there are several monitors already set up. Pressure drop across the domain, maximum velocity, and now drag force. Once all variables of interest are specified, you are ready to begin your simulation. You'll notice that the results arc is located in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. This is where you'll solve your simulation as well as visualize the results. Depending on what you are studying, you can add particles, streamlines, surfaces, contours, and vectors to visualize the flow. To begin, you will click the Solve button and can instantly notice results appearing on the screen. Here, the simulation is solving and beginning to converge towards the steady state solution. If you want to see a different visualization, deselect streamlines and select another scheme. Since each simulation is different, you can choose the method and technique that best conveys the results. Oftentimes, you will be interested in the flow over a single component or in a single direction. To perform this analysis, you can select streamlines and notice the circle appear at the domain's inlet. By changing the size of this circle, we can focus the streamlines. Here, I have focused the streamlines on the middle of the car to better visualize the flow over the front and rear wings, as well as the region of wake turbulence immediately behind the chassis. You will notice that this simulation is not accurately capturing the flow around the front or rear wings. To increase the simulation's quality, we will need to change the fidelity of the mesh. To do this, navigate to the Explore tab in the center of the screen. The sliding bar that appears increases or decreases the mesh element size, thereby changing the simulation's fidelity. By decreasing the element size, we can get a higher quality result. You can confirm this by visualizing the results as well as checking the monitor points. Since these monitors save previous results, we can compare them to our current results. 
By increasing the fidelity of our simulation, we are better capturing the physics occurring around our model. This can clearly be seen by the streamlines around the front and rear wings of our car. If an even higher quality study needs to be undertaken, you can go a step further into the refine mode. This concludes our demonstration. I hope you've enjoyed it and good luck out on track.